Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, got an interesting looking racket here. It's called the Mad Rack. The Power Weave System. Hmm. Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Hunter. Hunter is a member of my coffee club. Hunter writes, love the videos. Thank you for all the advice. Oh, thank you so much. Um, thank you for the coffee. <laughs> if you want to be a member like Hunter and hook me up with a coffee once a month or just hook me up with a coffee, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. You want to just hook up the channel. Super thanks is the way. Link is below. Thank you so, so much. Coach Rob, it's a little cold. I'm freezing, Harry. Keep moving your feet. <laughs> and it's dark. <laughs> Ooh, I can't then, barely see. Then you better not miss, Harry, because then you're going to get colder. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. Ooh, gosh. All right. Do you want that pro that will make you play in the dark? Make you play in the freezing cold? Not let you give up on your tennis? Well, I got my coach, Rob. You can get your coach, Rob, at Play Your Court. You can find over 27,000 players out there coaches and playing partners all at playercourt.com. All right, nice piping hot today. Okay, so check this racket out guys. It's called Mad Rack. This is the Windsor model. There are a lot of different models that kind of has this unique power weave, as it says right there, power weave stringing system. I believe this was factory strung because it actually says power weave strings on the string itself. Now it was designed, the racket and the stringing system was designed by Madeline Hopman and she founded the company called Mad Rack Sports, uh, 1980. These rackets were supposedly made in New York. I, I don't, that's just from what I'm reading. Um, three dimensional string, as you can see, is patented. And basically for increased power, increased spin, increased control, and reducing the shock by 30%. Hmm, that's a lot of promises, but I could definitely see with the crisscross pattern that vibration kind of doesn't know where to go. Therefore, it kind of eliminates itself. That's just my guess from looking at how this works. Um, so the string pattern, as you can see, it, it, there's mains here all the way to the end. It was inspired by an Indian snowshoe, um, and that's how the, the holes were drilled on the racket. And that was the calculated formula of how it's supposed to be strung. And uh, you know, the holes were drilled and placed, which helped create the uh, pattern here. I would probably hate to string this racket. <laughs> I probably need a guidebook or some kind of directions to do it. Um, so Madeline Hopman uh, called it the Mad Rack. So it's not Mad Racket, it's Madeline's Racket is why it was called that. So proud of you for naming it after yourself. Um, the Power Weave as you can see, is kind of inspired the power angle, which I believe still lives on today with the crisscross pattern. I can't imagine 
strings breaking on this because there's no way these strings can move. Um, so I'm guessing it's not going to provide spin as much. That's just my guess. But I mean, proof is in when I hit it. So um, it's got great weighting. It's about 12 ounces. Pretty evenly balanced there. All right. So let's take it on the court. Give it a shot to see what we think of this unique racket. All right, Coach Jared, as soon as you picked this up and started playing with it, your mm -hmm. ball literally felt 20 miles per hour faster. It had more heaviness to it. Um, what did you feel? So the first impressions with this stick was the very thick beam. So before even looking at any of the specs on this racket, I was just assuming that it was already 100 square inches because um, the first thing that came to mind was a pure drive mold. Um, so yeah, right when I got into it, I was expecting a ton of pop, a um, ton of power, and probably a stiff feeling racket, um, but it was kind of the opposite for me. So obviously the first thing that's interesting is you see that the mains are regular, but the crosses are diagonal. I'm not really sure why they did that with this stick, um, but it definitely worked. Uh, the shots were feeling very tight with a lot of spin, uh, a lot of control, and a lot of pop. And to my surprise, this thing was actually a 93 square inch head size racket. So traditionally, um, with those kind of frames, you'd expect a lot of control, a lot of feel, um, and kind of just a low-powered frame. But I was telling Harry, if they made a recent version or a modern version of this racket, I would actually switch to it. Um, so yeah, definitely a fun play test, something I've actually never used before, and something I was kind of just looking forward to using. And uh, overall, I'd give this thing a thumbs up. Okay, cool. Yeah, your ball from this side was just coming harder. It was just, it just picked up speed. Yeah. As soon as you started using this one. Um, so as you can see, it's hard to move these strings <laughs> Looks like it. with the crisscross pattern. I don't think you actually have to change the strings ever again. Sure about they that. they don't move. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They don't move. Like, look, I can't even move this <laughs> main right now. Um, usually when they crisscross it like this, it's to keep the mains from shifting. Therefore, no snapping. Um, your ball actually jumped. That's what I'm surprised with. Yeah, that's what I'm surprised with. There's with, no snapping with the, the strings. You'd yeah. expect it to be more flat and, and yep. dead, which is interesting. Yep. So, but okay. you, you had the jump. You had the, the go too, mm -hmm. which uh, was very interesting to me. Um, how did it look from the other end? when I hit it to you. Same thing with you. Same I thing. mean, yeah, once in a while, I feel like your shots are uh, coming a little bit faster and definitely uh, a lot tighter spin. So I think, I, again, I don't know if it's a string pattern or what, but I feel like both of us were definitely dialing in the shots where it was just coming more clean, if that makes sense. So usually we kind of hit a little more floaty, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit more more spin and kind of a lot of toss spin, and this thing kind of just dialed it in. So uh, so flattened out a bit more. Flattened out, but also with some with some tight spin on it. So I feel like it's it's a little bit more heavier uh, mm -hmm. in a way, and at the same time, it's just uh, again, I'm just surprised this thing's a 93 square inch head size racket. <laughs> I'm very surprised with that because again, most 93 square inch head size rackets do not have this much power. So. And, and boron, yeah. boron is a stiff material for stiffness. So as you as I showed you already, um, so we got stiff racket, but 93 mm -hmm. slightly wider. So that all equals to power. Yeah. Um, but yeah, sur super surprised by this racket. Played very well. Like went right through the air very, very nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, finished up as, as soon as you, like as soon as you took it back and you just let it go, it just kind of took over. Yeah. Um, like you said, I'm pretty shocked that it's 93. You're, you know, <laughs> I've when I when I, I was shocked at when I first looked at it and said that can't be, <laughs> but definitely. But it felt bigger. That's yeah. the other thing. It did feel bigger. This would be a nightmare to string though. 
guys, you don't want to do this. This is, this is not a fun one to do. And then the other thing too is if you look at the furthest main, it's so close to the uh, frame of the racket in terms of this string here. It's not a fun one to, to string for sure. No. So I'm glad they strung it and the strings are still on it. Yeah, agreed, <laughs> agreed. So. If you ever see one of these somewhere, pick it up. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. And um, I know my buddy, uh, Tony Bryant, Hopefully you have one of these in Florida, okay? If you don't, look for it, all right? Um, Coach Jared, thank you for uh, this play test, yeah. and I'm glad you're the one that got to try this. Yeah, fun stuff, definitely <laughs> where, fun stuff. Where can they find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Mod Tennis. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.